Hello guys and welcome back to another Ironix Media video and today I'm about to talk to you about a concept that is coming up called quantum computing. Now imagine you have a group of five people and each person has five cards. Now your aim is to find that one card which has a spade among this group of decks. Now since the number of cards is quite less, that could be an easy job so all you have to do is just go ahead one by one and search from each person to find if there is a spade. That would be easy. Now let's take it to a higher level. What if each person had a hundred cards? How much time do you think it would take for you to search for that one person who has that one spade out of all these cards? Now, as a normal person, you'd have to go one by one checking and this would consume a lot of time. Now, this is mostly the case that happens with the current computers that we are using today. They can only hold one bit at a time. Now, what if I told you that a time is coming where all you need to do is just place your deck of cards and that one specific one that you are looking for will just be magically found. Now basically that is the kind of work that quantum computers will come to solve. Now the current computers we have today from our PCs to our laptops to our smartphones, they all use a digital binary system of zeros and ones. They all operate using transistors built within them and each of these transistors built within them can only hold one state at a time. It can either be only a zero or a one. But now, when it comes to quantum computers, they can hold multiple states at a time. This therefore gives them the ability to try out each and every possible solution simultaneously. Now this makes them much faster than classical computers that we've always been used to in solving many types of problems. Okay, now let us get out of the fun and games and come into real life perspective. How are these computers going to help us? Now these quantum computers can help us in a variety of ways. One of them including the medicine field. Now one of the things that happens during the development of medicine is the study of molecules. Now with the old ways you'd have to study the behavior of each molecule and imagine how much time it's going to take. Now with quantum computers they can try out each and every possible solution much more faster and therefore development of new medicine is going to be much faster and efficient. Now quantum computers can also apply in the financial field whereby they can for example predict the stock prices in the market or even being used in forex trading and such kind of stuff or even can help in creating new financial algorithms that are much more faster and much more efficient. They can also help in coming up with new designs of new materials with better properties. And I also believe they can also be used in the machine learning and artificial intelligence field where they can be used to solve more complex problems. Now quantum computers do have the potential to change the industry and I believe that in the years to come even though that right now they are in the early stages of development they still are going to bring an impact into our lives. Now what do you personally think about this new era of computers? Let me know down in the comments section and if you've liked this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more tech content. It's been Ironix Media and I hope to see you in the next video. Stay tuned. Peace.